Aspen kids, it's Miss Kira. Today, I am gonna read you one of my favorite books. It's called Flotsam. It's by somebody named David Wisner, and he drew the pictures. And he, the thing is about this book, it's really cool. It doesn't have any words, it only has pictures. So I'm gonna read this book to you by showing you the pictures, and we're gonna figure out what the story is just by looking at the pictures, no words. So here we go, Flotsam. Here it says, flotsam is something that floats. If it floats in the ocean, it may wash up on the beach where someone may find it and be astonished and share the discovery with someone else. So that's what flotsam is. And here we have a little boy at the beach, maybe looking for stuff in the waves. And here we have our title page where it says flotsam. And all over this page you can see different kinds of flotsam of things that have washed up on the beach that floated in the water and ended up maybe on the shore. Okay, here's our first page. There was somebody looking at this little crab. Oh, it's a little boy. And it looks like he's hanging out at the beach with his family. Then he decides to go back out to the waves and look for some more things. And there he finds a crab. And while he's looking at the crab, crash, a wave sneaks up on him and knocks him over. And you always gotta keep an eye on that sneaky ocean. gets washed up on the shore like he's a piece of flotsam and there's something that washes up on the shore with him do you see that I wonder what that could be he picks it up it says it's an underwater camera it's got a cool octopus on it so he takes it over to his parents and he's like hey look what I found and inside of this camera, this is an old camera, it's not like cameras today. Inside of this camera, there's something called film. And this film keeps all of the pictures on it, but you can't see them until you take them to the film shop to get them developed. So he found inside where all of the pictures are kept, and he's probably thinking, hmm, I wonder what pictures were taken by this underwater camera. So a camera that takes pictures under the water. So he takes it down to the shop and he asks her to take the pictures off of it. And then he waits and he waits and he waits and he waits some more. And then finally the pictures are done. He goes back to the beach, he opens them up. And what do you think he sees on that picture? It looks like he's kind of amazed by whatever it is he's seeing. This is what was on the first picture. All kinds of fish just swimming in the ocean and a robotic fish. Whoa. So then he looks at the next picture and there's some ocean creatures just lounging around like they're sitting in the living room on all these couches and chairs. They've got some fish that have lights on them, lighting up the lamps. That's interesting. On the next picture, there's a hot air balloon made out of a puffer fish. Whoa. On this picture, there's turtles that have whole entire cities on their backs. Ooh, this is like our space look week last week. We've got some aliens from outer space down in the water. And then look at this. These are starfish that are normally like about the size of your hand. Look at how big these ones are. There's a whole island on top of that starfish. 
and these are whales and whales are really really big like as big as a school bus and this starfish is way bigger than that whale so these must be gigantic starfish and then the last picture he sees is a picture of a little girl who's holding a picture of a boy so he's like huh and he gets a tool that will help him to look closer at the picture because in the picture of the little boy he is holding a picture of another little girl and she's holding a picture of another boy and then he's like okay i need to see closer so he gets something called his telescope where he can see really small things and he looks more closely at the picture and he sees this boy holding the picture and the, let's see I think she he's holding the picture he's holding a picture of him he's holding a picture of her and she's holding a picture of her and she's holding a picture of this kid so this kid must have been the first kid to take a picture on that camera and send it out and then everybody else decided to take pictures with the pictures. So the little boy thinks about it and he decides that he's gonna take his own picture. So he sets up the camera and he gets right in front of the waves and he smiles for his picture and crash! The wave crashes into him again. You think he would have learned and it takes all the pictures away with it. So he throws the camera out into the ocean and then he waves goodbye to it. He throws it out into the ocean so that it can be flotsam for somebody else to find. So here's the camera floating in the moonlight, going up a wave, gets taken by some squid eaten by a big giant fish, spotted by a whale, dragged by some seahorses, and then it floats by some kind of sea life down here. And this is what the camera sees. If you look carefully, there's the camera right here. And it's taking a picture of, it looks like mermaids maybe. I see a mermaid here, some mermaids here living in their own little city. And then a seagull gets the camera and some dolphins. If you look really close, you can see him taking the camera. And it gets washed over through some waves floats by some penguins, goes up to some islands, and there it is as Flotsam washed up on the shore where this little girl finds it. And I wonder what kind of pictures she's gonna see on that camera. The end, bye.